Hello everyone and welcome to course of Tetra Security. In this course, we can learn about the Tetra Network Security. You can find the full course at telcomaglobal.com. So let's start with the security objectives for the Tetra Networks. So it has a communication security model which focus on confidentiality, integrity and availability. So all the security objectives are required to meet for systems in general and for systems where initial link is by radio in particular link, where such systems are provisioned for commercial purposes. They require to be able to prove the identity of users and network to ensure confidentiality of communication, to ensure integrity of communication, to ensure rights of privacy, to ensure correct charging of the system user, security management. Under security management, there are complex security functions within network call for control and management. The management functions are security critical themselves and they are subject to all the security requirements. So these are some of the goals of security and evaluation that means to provide product owners with confidence that countermeasures bring the risk to asset to an acceptable level. To ensure that the evaluation provides evidence of assurance and it gives confidence that countermeasures bring the risk to asset to an acceptable level. So this is the security model. Here we have general model system design, design module observed vulnerability, secure countermeasures and rest of it is continuous in this development model, TVRA development model, security objectives and threat. We require to establish security objectives, carry out analysis, specify all the security requirements, designing a system, control and information. Security objectives to be able to prove the identity of users, confidentiality, integrity, rights of privacy. Privacy of information that means limitation on collection, storage, processing of personal data, inspection and correlation. Now, privacy legislative is of increasing importance. There are strong restrictions in many countries with regard to storage and visibility of data. Therefore, when offering a Tetra service or when designing data processing functions and defining the kind of data being generated or stored within the Tetra system, the Tetra network service provider should consider the data protection laws. It has privacy of information. That means keeping information exchanged between Tetra service functions away from the third parties. Limitations on collection, storage and processing. Personal data may only be collected, stored and processed if there is a relationship between the data and actual provision of the service. Then we have disclosure. The obligation of a network and service provider to keep information concerning customers away from the third parties. Under inspection and correlation, the right of the customer to inspect and correct information about himself which is stored by the service or the network provider. Then we have data protection. Data protection measures are those measures made to cover the security of data. And above those dealing purely with privacy and cover the access and use of data volunteered for any transaction to a third party. Here, the protection measures may be necessary to ensure that measures related to data retention and lawful interception remain totally lawful. Security order. National laws concerning the security order. That means it should demand proper protection of information and infrastructure to ensure the availability and integrity of telecom network. It may restrict the usage of cryptographic methods. Then we have lawful interception and contract. So under Tetra security, operators of Tetra network, manufacturer of equipment, 
they have objective to ensure compliance with the legislative framework in the region in which they are operating telecommunication networks and systems are expected to operate within a particularly legislative framework within europe the framework directive the authorization directive the access directive and the universal service directive identifies a number of area for which the compliance is required so this these are some of the tetra security objectives thank you